Warning. The following video contains material for mature audiences only. It involves a description of a cult that openly practices sexual immorality. Such principles of this commune do not reflect the views of the Creator nor the Ministry of Spurgeon Rombaum. Yoki, the Creator of Spurgeon Rombaum. Yiparek Hatanai Vaishma Reka Hayatana Pudna Aleka Vihu Neka Yesadona Pudna Aleka Vaisim Reka Shalom In Brattleburg, Vermont, in 1811, a son is born to Polly and Reverend and Representative John Noyes, named John H. Noyes. Around 1833, Noyes, while trying to deduce the year which Messiah will return, became convinced that it occurred in AD 70, the year the Second Temple was destroyed by the Romans and began to seek salvation and perfect, perfection. Between 1838 and 1844, he and his wife lived in separate houses after only one year, only one of their five children survived. Yielding to him a satisfaction that they never had experienced prior. During this time, he began to study the Pull out method during social intercourse and connecting it to his form of Christian perfectionism. Over the course of the next 33 years, he established several communities to teach his doctrines and views. It was in the Oneida community, his main one, that he became famous and infamous. His followers established factories for textiles, traps, canneries, leather making, palm hatting, and silverware, which became the more profitable of these enterprises. Starting in mid-1879, Noyce fled to Ontario after a warrant was sent out for his arrest on charges of statutory rape. The community was ordered to return to traditional marriages and they converted to a joint stock company, which was later consolidated into a, a silverware company that still exists today. John H. Noyes died in April of 1886. Complex marriage is the belief that any man can have social relations with any woman they want as long as there was consent by both parties. This is based upon Noy's interpretation of there being no marriage in heaven. It was custom under his leadership that women over 40 teach young men how to have relations. Likewise, older men to teach younger women the same. These were at the discretion of Noy's himself. It was to limit the romantic connections and encourage a rampant public polyamorous lifestyle with limited commitment. We read in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 through 10 about the dangers of sexual immorality in the church and that every man should have one wife and one woman should have one husband in a committed marriage. Paul even recalled that in Torah, 23,000 people died in a single day because of sexual immorality. Mutual criticism is the belief that any man or woman could, during a meeting of a committee or the community itself, be criticized as a way of eliminating traits that were judged as undesirable. Messiah instructed that if you have an issue with someone in the church, to talk to them privately and resolve it. 
if they refuse to take another congregant or two and confront them again. If they still won't resolve it with you, then they are to be brought before the congregation and confronted. It was believed by the community that male climax complicated the male immune system and pregnancy harmed the female lifespan. He therefore, that is, noise, commanded his commune to practice the withdrawal method. But looking at Torah, we can see that this can result in death by the Vanins, which happened to one of Judah's sons. Social relations are meant to be for the procreation of the human race. The childbirth is painful and changes the mother's figure. The pain does not compare to the joy of parenthood. Struggle culture is the belief, according to noise, that any couple wishing to be parents had to be approved by a committee, which would in turn raise the children communally in a wing of the mansion. Parents were restricted for a time if there was found to be a bond occurring. The biblical mandate of the family is that the father and the mother are to raise their children, lest the widower or widow remains or remarries, or the children are raised by family members as Hajda was raised by her cousin Mordecai. The role of women in the community were to prove women's rights for those inside the community. They did not have to raise their children as previously mentioned and birth control in the form of the withdrawal method were allow freedom to wear radical clothing for the time as well as to have pursuits outside of domestic duties. With the polyamorous lifestyle of members, women are were allowed to embrace their sexuality. Marriage is honorable in every respect, and in particular, sex within marriage is pure, but the Lord will indeed punish fornicators and adulterers. Messianic Jews, chapter 13, verse 4.